guys thanks for clicking on my video um hi guys it's me <laughs> i'm joking <laughs> Hi guys, um, I'm really excited that I'm back again filming a new video. I felt super inspired with doing people's makeup recently. I've just fallen in love with doing makeup again, especially on myself. I feel like I never get glammed up anymore. Um, so I thought I would just sit down, film a video like old times and get this full glam out there. Yeah, I hope you enjoy and like and subscribe keep watching okay so for today's look i want to do something quite glam but very simple ugly so i've been using the rimmel wow lighting is great i'm gonna take this brow pencil oh brow pencil from primark only because i don't really wanna have a full brow i'm i've currently got them tinted and i do like it not as blocky so i just pencil underneath and then brush up and just to sort of lightly fill in and there we go hiya okay so this is not usually a look for me usually i'm less looking like this but who cares so i carve obviously everybody's aware how to carve out eyebrows especially in this day and age using a flat brush okay that'll do so after I've done that I then take this other brush which is um, it's kind of like a let me just zoom in for you there oh there we go like a tiny kabuki brush <laughs> i actually really like being zoomed in right now it's really funny and i just take this and i'm just gonna blend this all out um sometimes i don't do this sometimes i do um because this concealer is a little bit too light i do just want to like mm, bleh. I just like to make sure it's really so yeah that is my eyebrows um pretty simple I don't really like fussing with them too much the concealer I was using by the way is the collection in warm fair um I like a light concealer but I don't like it too light that makes me look crazy so I'm just gonna basically do this all over my eye um as a base i don't really believe in eye primers i think you can just use concealer i just sometimes i think they bring out extra products for for fun so then taking that same tiny kabuki brush i'm just gonna blend all that concealer and good stuff right out because i don't like I don't like a really uneven sometimes it groups up in the corner of my eye and then I get to like the end of my eyeshadow and I've got all this concealer like here and I'm like oh my god how do I get rid of that so all right so after I've done that obviously this isn't really good covered but like it's not it's so it's gonna look lumpy I'm not really bothered um yes yeah, so basically that's it for the makeup <laughs> imagine if that was done okay so taking this palette i'm literally just going to stick with one palette just to keep it super simple um we're gonna take this two sets which is literally just uh you know your standard 
but knowing me it'll be from somewhere not cool i think it's from superdrug <laughs> like not a branded brush it's just from superdrug but i'm literally just setting my whole entire eye i didn't clean this before i used it so it's probably got some brown on it okay so anyway we're putting that all over my eye um yeah that's about it really so then taking quite a light this one um i'm just gonna dust that in the corner and then start working that through it's kind of like a rusty a rusty kind of blending i'm just really working in that crease what i like to do is really open my eye and sort of see where my crease sits and then i can do it that way i find that super handy um i forgot why i looked at then okay is that one <laughs> it's so funny um this is just gonna darken it up really just stick into the crease um and just sort of blending that out i like to go a little bit out not too much off with lightly going up and make sure it's just finishing off really lightly the revolution super size conceal and define in 8.5 on the back of my hand and i just like to get a nice good in me and i'm going to dip this flat brush into it okay i'm gonna quickly do the other eye of camera so i am back and i have finished my cut crease but i'm gonna film i'm gonna um zoom you back in because i am going to do a wing liner and then my mascara and lashes and i thought i might as well be close up um so lightly really sort of being quite careful the Lori l'oreal superstar can um in black i am doing myself a wing um i always like to start off in the corner sort of stencil out my eye so i can kind of get an idea everyone obviously does this differently um to me i've been doing eyeliner for quite a long time so i kind of The best thing is though is like everybody makes mistakes so everybody has those days everybody knows what what i'm talking about so like even if you see someone with like so this is me just like starting off in the corner and then i'll just drag it with me having glitter on it does make it a little bit more difficult but you just have to keep going over so i have finished off both eyeliners um, i'm just going to put some mascara on and stick on some lashes and then i will be right So, let me zoom you bitches out. So yeah, I have stuck on some lashes um, and I have, um, yeah, stuck on lashes, done my mascara and now to start my face. So I will, I've already put on some moisturiser. I'm just going to spritz uh, one more time and I'm just going to, this is just going to really lock in my makeup overnight over the night so for foundation sorry i just had a crisp and it just got stuck in my throat um so for foundation i have been using the fenty 
Pro Filter Longwear Foundation and it's soft matte. Oh, that's my it really. This is in the shade 300. Um, so yeah, a couple pumps on the back of my hand. I would say it's a little bit too dark only because I was super tanned from being on holiday and now I'm not tanned. So yeah, but anyway, I'll just work this all over my face using a blending brush, really sort of working on the neck and just pressing it into my face. I just really like to make sure it's locked in. I'm now gonna go in with some light contour and highlighting. So I'm gonna be taking the Sculpting Touch Creamy Contour Stick from Kiko. Looks like this, it's quite dark, but well, it doesn't look that dark. And I'm just gonna do a really subtle line. And then on my forehead, down my jaw, and then a little bit down my nose. Well, that would help if that was even, but it's fine. Taking this, and I'm just gonna... I like to have the cream contour to kind of act as like a little base for the powder I apply there. So it doesn't, it doesn't add too much because it blends out really smoothly into my foundation, but it sort of sits there. So I'll just blend that into in warm light again and I'm just popping that under my eye um then I will powder so I will lightly powder using the stay matte rimmel which is probably everyone's ride or die old school shit I swear to god and I'm just going to be taking a fluffy powder brush I'm just going to swirl that and I'm just gonna dust this all over my eye. I'm not gonna bake um, just because I want a light sort of dewiness to my face. Um, I get really dry under eyes, so I'm not baking, but usually, sometimes I would, depending if it's a long night or if I'm gonna get really sweaty, you know. So yeah. Um, then I will go in with bronzer, so taking the Bourjois, and I don't even know if they sell this anymore because I've looked for it and I can't find it anywhere, so if anyone has this, please, because literally, I love it so much, it's such a good bronzer, so it literally going in like, and then just sculpting, not even sculpting, it's just warming my face, but in such a like a natural sort of just come off holiday kind of vibe. Taking this contour brush, which I love and use for everything, you will see. I'm just contouring ever so lightly. I just do like a contour today. Um, and I will do my nose. And then into my hairline. So going back in with my sponge, I'm just going to re-go over the concealer just to brighten that back up again and down my nose. So for highlight, I am using the um, Becca in Champagne Pop and it's crushed at the moment so I want to cry. Um, so I just basically drench my body and soul in it. I put a little bit on my eyelids. And then I'm just gonna go in with the MAC um, Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Oh Darling. This is like a goldy kind of, which I really like doing when I've used that. So I just put a little bit into blending with the bronzer. 
And then I'm just going to take my um, fucking uh, fixing go. Just to wet the face and then go back in, pressing that on. As you can see, I like a lot of highlight. I do a little bit on the lip, even though it doesn't really work for me because it disappears when I put the blender on. Um, so I'm gonna do blush, but the blush I'm using is with this palette and it's this shade here that's got this sort of gorgeous peachy tone. And it just blends really nice into the highlight and it doesn't make me look sort of like a doll but I want to look sort of awake and alive so and then I'm just gonna go zoom me back in and do my under eye. I'm just gonna bring it all together just to sort of smoke it out ever so slightly and I'm just going to coat my bottom lashes so now I'm just going to do my lips a little bit of concealer and I'm just gonna put it in the middle I'm just gonna blend that out lightly this video and I hope to see you very soon.